Well, hello there. I'm Peter Hansen. I'm a first generation American, although I technically still am a Dane. I've been in the United States now for more than half of my life. And how did I get here? Well, my family on my dad's side are the founders of a little wind turbine company in Denmark called Vestas. And back in the 70s, um, there was an oil crisis in Denmark and a farm implement company called Vestas got contact and said, wouldn't you like to make a wind turbine? Wouldn't you like to help out the country in getting away from importing oil into Denmark? And the management, um, my dad particularly first said, no, we are not interested in anything like that because that's some hippy dippy stuff and we are a reputable farm implement company. However, my mom was in the, in the meeting as well. And she later on at the dinner table, now I was seven or eight years old, she later on convinced my dad that wind turbines may be a really cool thing to do. And so lo and behold, a few months later, in the production down in Little Lemp by Reinkubing in Denmark, um, a corner of the facility was put aside to start the prototype production of a wind turbine. And <laughs> they were really small. Those wind turbines could sit on a, um, on a truck, on a, on a pickup truck almost, uh, at least with a trailer, and that's including the tower. Um, they were pretty successful in Denmark, sold a lot of them to farmers, and a couple of companies in California of all places saw that this was a really cool way to make electricity. And they were located in an area called Tehachapi, California. It's uh, not so far from the Mojave Desert and it's a very windy pass. People from there came over to Little Denmark and visited with us at Vestas. And the first couple of turbines were sold between my father and the founders of a company called Zond Energy Systems on a handshake and Vesta started sending wind turbines to the United States. That was our entry into United States. Vesta has since grown to a fairly large company. Our family got out of the wind business for a short period of time, but were then invited back to the United States to actually develop wind turbines that were designed, engineered, produced and installed and operating in the United States. Since then, from the tiny little turbines that we, uh, we, uh, that I mentioned in the beginning, they've grown in size tremendously. We went from 30 foot tall to 500 foot tall wind turbines, from producing enough, enough electricity to one or two households to each turbine producing enough electricity to 1,500 to 2,000 households each. And after I came to the United States, I became an engineer with General Electric and helped develop many of the wind turbines that you see out in the field today. And I remain in the business as we speak.